pork in here. Garbage. Is this dog food? This is one trashy ass burrito. Today I'll be trying every single item from Moe's Southwest Grill. We're talking from burritos to bowls to quesadillas to tacos to salads. Salads. So let's get it. So I'm assuming this to be the home record. This is the home record burrito, ladies and gentlemen. Man, you a sloppy motherfucker. Mm. This is one trashy ass burrito. The meat on here is garbage. The rice is garbage. The tomatoes and the green peppers and onions, they're okay. But the meat on this bad boy is just not seasoned. How are you gonna make a burrito and not season the damn meat? What, what the, the fuck? fuck? I just can't believe this shit. I'm giving us a one. A long ass review. Spicy chicken. This is the spicy chicken burrito. Now that does smell good now. Mm. All right, okay, all right, okay. This has a little bit more taste to it. I'm not sure if this is the guac, the onions, the cilantro, whatever the case is. But this burrito tastes way better than the last one right here. I mean, it's like night and day. Mm. It's juicy, it's squirty. Yes, I said squirty. This is a damn good burrito. I give it a seven. Ooh. Ain't had a quesadilla in a minute. This is the Chicken Club quesadilla, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm trying to get this one. Ah! Oh my God. Well, damn. So it's obvious that Moe's has a huge problem with seasoning their meat, so I'm not even gonna even go there. But the overall taste of this chicken club quesadilla is really good. Adding the bacon makes the world a difference. I mean, it really tastes like a chicken club. Mm. Nice little brown polka dots on the back. Let's go on the hood of this mug. Ah! Everything in here just looks freaking beautiful. I like it. <laughs> I thought the last was getting away, huh? Mm, I use a 7.5. Seems to be a regular quesadilla right here. This is a regular ground beef quesadilla, y'all. Quesadilla! Mm. Oh man, this is just great A trash. I mean, I'm gonna tell you right now, this would have been good had the ground beef been good, but when the meat is bad, the whole goddamn thing is gonna be bad now. Let's look under the hood. Yeah, the, the ground beef is hard. And not to mention, oh God, the ground beef stinks. I'm giving this a one, that's ridiculous. Oh, we got the stir! So from the outside, crunch on the inside, it is a stack, baby! Oh, you better be good. Okay, so I get it. Yeah, this right here reminds me too much of the crunch wrap at Taco Bell. Mm. The Taco Bell has perfected the crunch wrap to where when you bite into it, it has a crunch. Hence the crunch wrap. This right here is a stack. I mean, everything in here is good. I mean, you did stack the ingredients in here. But again, when it comes to the meat, bruh, you guys are failing so bad. Is this dog food? I'm giving this a three, okay? Because I like the concept. I really do. Let's try this taco right here. This is a pork taco. You do some too. Pork in here. Garbage. Zero. Hopefully these taste a little bit better. Ladies and gentlemen, this right here is the nachos. Damn it, when I say the presentation on these nachos, it's superb. Hopefully you guys can see it. If you can't, I'm sorry. Mm. Oh my God, we have a freaking winner, bro. So with the nachos, you can pretty much get whatever you want, all right? I got the whole nine, you feel me? Mm. This right here, I think was $6.49, which they give you a lot. The meat's trash, but this overall bowl, mm, it's pretty good. Nachos are six. You were good. I think this is just like a regular bowl right here. This is a regular bowl, ladies and gentlemen. Just wanted to see how the bowl would taste with all the ingredients that's in the burrito. So yeah, that's why I got it. Mm. Hey, listen up, man. So for one, this bowl can probably feed about three people. Damn! I mean, there's a lot of freaking food in this bowl, man. I'm very surprised. Two, I didn't stare this mug up, so I'm gonna stare it up right now, take another bite. Mm hmm hmm, still trash. For most to be as big as they are, I'm very surprised that nobody has checked them on this meat situation shit. And I know you got the tired of me talking about it, but damn, it's really, there is so much freaking potential in this bowl, and to be honest with you, it's just a big piece of dog shit. This looks good, but it tastes like I'm just keeping it 100, that's all. Mm -mm. Then some of y'all got the nerve to say that Moe's better than Chipotle. Get the f out of here. I rest my case. This is getting a three. Last but not least, we're gonna top it off with a salad, ladies and gentlemen. This is a freaking salad. Not really sure how this is gonna taste, but uh, let's just try it. Mm. I mean, it's, you know, mm, mm, it's okay. So on my side, I got olives, tomatoes, a little bit of cheese, a little bit of jalapeno. And for the price you pay, I think it's like $5.99, $6.99. You get a lot, but this is bland. By far the blandest freaking salad I've ever had in my life! Such a waste of money. Such a waste of money. I'm not gonna finish this, I'll give this a two. A 
waste of money. This is one of those reviews where I'm just glad it's over. My favorite was none other than the chicken club quesadilla. I ain't gonna lie, that chicken club quesadilla was on point. And there really ain't no difference between chicken quesadilla and the red quesadilla. All they did was add bacon. But damn, when they add bacon, it was so much better. Sorry, y'all. Got a little carried away. My least favorite was everything else. I mean, everything else was equally my least favorite. The meat was not seasoned. The onions were not tossed in season. The mushrooms wasn't seasoned. Nothing was seasoned here. And you expect me? <laughs> you expect me to eat that shit? Oh no. Most Southwest Grill, you probably never come across this video because I'm practically, I'm just a nobody. I'm just a guy that reviews food. However, if you listen to me, I want you to listen to me real good. Your food has so much potential. Can you please season the meat, okay? All right. If you like Moe's, dislike Moe's, love Moe's, or even hate Moe's, drop your comments on your favorite dishes in the comments below. I wanna know if y'all feel the same way I do. Please. And until next time, I'ma holla. Peace.